to another Dorklair action figure review. Today, I'm taking a look at the LA Comic Con exclusive Big Horn from Zezray Studios. This figure is part of that Minotaur wave with that same big, bulky, huge body, but this time they've done a rhino head sculpt with rhino feet hooves. I don't know what rhino feet are called, but those kind of feet. And uh, this is going to be a an exclusive at LA Comic Con on December 1st. If there are extras, they will be available on 5K Toys for people to order online. So stay tuned for that. Pay attention to that event and find out from 5K Toys if there's going to be extras. And speaking of 5K Toys, huge shout out to them and thank you for sending this over. You might have seen my previous video of the, um, the Legionaries wave there, that wave five of the soldiers, the Roman soldiers. And then this is kind of about in that same realm of that wave, I think this might be considered part of Wave 5. I'm not 100% sure, but these Minotaurs are kind of coming out right around the same time as those Centurions. But uh, yeah, so big shout out to 5K Toys. Link in the description below if you want to order some of those Rhino figures. If you want to, you know, bookmark it to order this if they have extras after LA Comic Con. But again, thank you very much, guys. Appreciate you including me in these promotional pushes. All right, let's get a close-up of that Rhino head sculpt, which looks pretty good. My horn's a little crooked there. Um, I think a little heat would fix that, but I doubt rhinos all have perfectly straight horns anyways in real life, but this one looks pretty cool. I do like the sculpt here. They do a really good job with the, um, with the sculptures and the fur textures and stuff. Paintwork, you know, could be a little more purposeful. I think that it's got a nice grittiness to it, but it's not as sharp, I'd say, as something like a Mythic Legions, where you kind of want to compare a line like that with a line like this. But overall, it's a pretty good-looking figure here. And, um, you know, it's that same body as the Minotaur. And I reviewed a pre-production sample of the Black Minotaur a while back. So check that out at some point. I think its name is Thales or Thales. But uh, yeah, so there we have a uh, very muscular, huge body. We've got these shoulder sort of butterfly joints. Talk about those later. And then the biceps and yeah, really nice gritty looking armor. And then he's got these aggressive blades on his belt. I imagine he might grapple people in and wrestle them into those blades, as gruesome as that sounds, but pretty cool looking stuff though. Then you get these pliable rubbery bits hanging down, these kind of tassel straps, and there's a little bit of a cloth piece underneath down into the thighs. It's very muscular, a lot of the black wash, giving it that kind of gritty look, and some straps down here. And both the gauntlets and the straps on the legs are like removable. So you could take this down to pretty much a bare body. And then you have whatever a rhino's feet are called. Got a pair of those. He's also got a pair of human feet that we'll talk about with the accessories. But a very cool looking figure. Articulated jaw. Lots of cool articulation on this guy. I mean, you saw that opening pose. It's a pretty poseable figure. So really cool stuff. Here he is all zoomed out so you can get a look at the whole figure. Height-wise with the hooves, he's just about 9 inches tall. I think he's slightly shorter with the human-style feet, which you can see right here next to the Minotaur with those human feet. And on the left, we have a nice comparison of the regular 6.5 to 7-inch figures. That's the Signifer from Wave 5, so that's your typical... Zezray combatants fight for glory type figure. And here he is next to a couple sword and sorcery figures from Mezco 112 Collective. On the left is Conan, on the right is Death Dealer. Next up, some seven inch lines. On the left, we have Masterverse He Man, Kitbash. And on the right is the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, Tiberius. Next, we have some NECA Mirage TMNT figures. On the left is the Foot Soldier. On the right is the Wanderer version of Michelangelo. And here we have the Big Boys. On the left is the Axie Toys T-Rex. And on the right is a Mythic Cosmic Kit Bash, primarily utilizing the Scourge figure from PowerCon. Next, we have the Fure Planet Blademaster Wang on the left and the Figura Obscura Monkey King on the right. 
Here we have the Mythic Legions Scaphoid on the left and the Super 7 Ultimates Thalsa Doom on the right. Finally, just a couple Hasbro figures so you can see how they scale next to some really true six inch figures. On the left is Grand Admiral Thrawn from the Black series and on the right is the Cobra Trooper from the Classified series. For accessories, it does come with this nice mace right here with some cool weathering, nice sculpture there. Super aggressive looking weapon. Comes with three sets of hands. One set is the open set of hands. And then he has a pair of closed fists. And finally, he does have a pair of swap out feet. I actually prefer these. I just like the human feet. I kind of like the look of it, but you can also go with the hooves that I've got on here right now. For articulation, the head is on a double ball joint, which makes for some nice um, subtle movement, but the range isn't crazy. Like you can look up a little bit and then kind of look down a little bit and shift back and forth for subtle movements, but nothing extreme really up in the neck there. Then you do have a quasi butterfly joint. It's actually a ball peg on the back of this big bulky shoulder piece that can come across this much and back this much. Once you keep going back, there's a little bit of uh, area where it's unpainted under there. So that's a slight miss right there. There's a hinge and swivel up at the shoulder, bicep swivel, which is actually the peg from the arm pegs up into the shoulder. And this is just a cover over that peg. Single jointed elbow can come just shy of 90 degrees. And then you have the split wrist over here and you can actually take this arm guard off and do like bare arm style if you prefer. A lot of nice motion in the torso. You've got that double ball joint up at the top of the torso. You can kind of roll around quite a bit and do some crouching and stuff. And then you have a ball joint at the waist as well. So full range, you can come back this far and then forward quite a bit as well. And he can cock side to side. We've got a ball joint and swivel up at the top of the hip there. So the legs can twist and then you can go out into the splits. Double jointed knee comes up really good range in that knee. This also is a cover down here above the calves. And then you have a hinge and rocker at the ankle, but no twist above the ankle there. Overall, really big, chunky, awesome figure. I think people are gonna really like this wave that has the Minotaurs and of course this exclusive big horn rhino type character. Um, this is a nice body. It's really cool. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. And until next time, may the force be with you.